brilliant. Thank you so much. So can you start with telling us your name and your role in Sleepy the Magical Bear, please? Yeah, no worries. Um, my name is Ines Caterina. I'm from Portugal and I'm the animator uh, for Sleepy, for the Sleepy Room, basically. I animate him. Wow, okay. So, so go, okay. So how exactly do you, let's go right from the beginning, if you don't mind. I'm going to try to say your name, Ines. Ines. <laughs> that's, and, uh, that's correct. <laughs> and um, just tell us a bit about the process of how you start with your animation because to someone like me it sounds like a whole different world it sounds incredible and when I see it, it's amazing but how does it start with you like where do you begin do you draw do you do you uh, to start from the beginning if that's okay give us an idea of your process yeah no worries uh, so basically the first thing we have to know is what scene we are doing so we have to read the script we have to know what's going on um, my stage is basically the last stage of the scene construction, basically. So I need to have the edits mostly done, at least a rough edit, like with the background and with the live action characters. And we have a rig, which means we have a preset of uh, sleepy faces, sleepy body, sleepy arms with the different colors that is in. And after we decide which one we want to use, um, we basically put him together with his head and body in the same place. Uh, we use a program called uh, Adobe Character Animator. So uh, we do lip sync if it's necessary, if he has lines, uh, we do movements for his head, for his arms, from his body. If he needs to walk, we also make him walk. And yeah, basically we use that program that has the presets and the, the drawings already done. And we just basically use puppetry kind of like oh. there's like uh, some joints and we use the joint to move up and down, rotate, his head too, his tilt. So yeah, it's basically uh, puppetry, but digitally. Wow, okay, that sounds amazing. So how long does something like that take you to do? Like the whole of Sleepy, like how long would that take you? Yeah, it depends on the scenes. Like if he needs to walk uh, and we don't have a walk cycle already done for that scene or for that position, that takes a little bit longer because then I have to use Adobe After Effects uh, okay. to do a more precise job of doing the, the limbs movement. But usually if I work on him for like two hours a day or three, um, in small scenes that takes maybe in a day I can make them, which is rare because scenes are usually a little bit bigger. But then if the scene is more complex and there's a lot of feedback coming back and forth, that can take up to a week, depending on how people are available. Wow, really? I have always heard that about, about animation. Like I've never asked anyone, but I have always heard like, like the, the, the smallest movement can take so long, like 10 seconds of movement can take, take like hours and hours. So I've always been so fascinated yeah, yeah. with it. How do you, um, is, is it just been Sleepy that you've been working on? Or is it any of the other characters? Uh, yeah, I animated uh, Shrizzle sometimes. I also animated uh, another character called uh, the Pelican that is on the the, um, yeah. the castle of the Sleepy. Uh, yeah, I animated other characters. I also did some, I'm editing a scene now uh, because it's small and there's no need to have another person working on it. Uh, I'm, editing it down so yeah I do a little bit of everything that is needed mostly animation though wow so what is where's your background come from like have you always been into animation did you study it or is it something you just came into how did you get into it so yeah basically I went to university in the UK which is Manchester uh, I went to a university called Futurex and my course uh, yeah, I went to a university called FutureWorks and I graduated uh, basically last August in the middle of the pandemic, so that was fun. Uh, and I went back home and I was looking for jobs or opportunities to keep working because being at home and not doing anything was not the best case scenario. So uh, my teacher, my tutor actually posted uh, a, a kind of an advertisement for these uh, position on the, on our Facebook page that it usually posts on. Okay. So I read that and I'm like, oh, let's give it a try. Let me see if I can get 
if I can contribute my work to it. And yeah, basically I emailed David and David came back uh, with the with the email and yeah, he, and that's how it started. It started around September, October, I think. Right. So how was your experience been then? So is this your first kind of is this your first job since graduating? Yeah, in, the, in my area, basically, in yes. Area. Oh, wow. Congratulations, first of all. Amazing project to do, like to have your first job in. How have you found it? Sorry? How have you found it, like the whole process? Yeah, it's, it's because it's um, quite flexible and I don't need to work from 7 a.m. to, I don't know, 2 p.m. It's quite nice to still have be able to do my stuff and also contribute to this project. It's been uh, a really good uh, project to work on because not only there's so many passionate people working for mm -hmm. it and it's so fun to meet and know other people's work, but also it's very good for me, uh, I think mentally, because in pandemic, uh, being stuck at home, not being able to, I don't know, look for jobs or even, I don't know, create like we used to and not have to see your friends. I think it's a, it was a very good um, project to work during all these problems that have been arise from the pandemic. And um, for me, the, when I saw David's advertisement looking for a singer, I was like, because I felt like I needed to do something. Like, you know, how could I, how could I contribute to this pandem pandemic and own and have creative skills? <laughs> so I was like, what can I do? You know, so I, I feel the same. I was looking for something that I felt like I could positively contribute using. You know, we've trained, we've we've got a skill. So well, how can we use it? So I think this was brilliant opportunity for all of us to be able to use our skills in a in a great way so I can't wait to see it but yeah I completely agree with you but because of the pandemic I guess it's maybe because I mean have you found uh, any challenges in terms of co in terms of the way Covid has maybe like it maybe kind of stopped certain processes that you might have had ordinarily like a lot of it's been over zoom or is, is your work like that anyway anyway like would your work be over like phone calls or zoom anyway or has covid kind of stopped certain procedures happening if that makes sense i guess the biggest um, influence that happened from the pandemic that made things harder is i think relying a lot because i never worked a uh, long distance i never worked through um from home so it was a uh, interest it was different difficult to adapt to because we were used to lectures we were used to getting feedback face to face and quickly ask questions questions if we have some uh, for example the software uh, we are using i never used it before so i had to learn it all by myself by my um, own well it sounds like you have done an amazing job job david speaks so highly of so do you have a so so far What's been your favorite character for you to animate? I love Sleepy with all my heart. And it's fun because I always I know him almost every day. I look at him almost <laughs> every day. But I think I love Shrizzle. I love the way I can animate Shrizzle. I love particularly that character. I love Sleepy, but Shrizzle is so much fun to animate with. Why is that? I don't know, these, his ears and stuff, like the second characteristics of him, the way he moves, I think it's, I don't know, it's different and more, I don't know, detail. I can do more stuff with him, I guess. And I don't know, I just found, I love his design too. So it's, and I love rabbits, so it's oh, lo right, lots yeah. of, uh, <laughs> That's amazing. Lots I, of reasons. I always, re I really like Shrizzle. There's something about Shrizzle. I like Sleepy too, but I, I agree. There's something about the character of Shrizzle. It's also, and there's something in the name that's fun. And it's maybe that's why it is too. I, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So what have you, um, what do you think your kind of like ultimate goal would be? Like as an animator, do you have like a goal that, or something you would love to do? Well, my dream job would probably be um, an animated director, so I can direct other animators to do the job that is needed. But I know that for that, I need to especially uh, focus on being animated uh, myself so that I know what it goes into. So I would like to 
my I would like to expand my skills so even use more detailed programs and animate more detailed uh, characters or even do frame by frame animation which is basically you draw a frame that moves you need to draw a new drawing every time so I would like to have experience in both those kinds of animation so that I can one day become an animated director in another project like this or even another sleepy movie I don't know maybe Wow, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. So, with in terms of drawing, do you do you actually draw anything hand drawn? For sleepy, in this case, no, because it's already drawn and painted, and we all have his views sent to us on uh, for rigs and stuff. So, I don't need to do frame by frame animation. Uh, so, I have things already done. Uh, but no, I usually use what it's already drawn, and I animate what I have. Okay. But, but you can draw if, if need be as well. Uh, in Sleepy's case, no. I can. Uh, I tried um, for a test. We I did uh, a cake. I, I animated the cake by hand, frame by frame. But in the end, three uh, D was a better uh, a better option. So in the end, it's not been going to be used. My only frame by frame animation. Uh, yeah. Well, David listens in, he will listen to this interview. So, David, keep using 2D. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Sleepy like works wonderfully in 2D, to be honest, I think. What, what like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if you know of Roger Rabbit. Yes, I don't know if yes. you know that. I, I think I love that style of movie, like with live action characters and 2D uh, frame by frame animation. I think it works wonderfully. So, Sleepy can be the next Roger Rabbit, I guess. So I did not realize that that was sleepy. That was two D. You know, until you just said it to me, I don't. Sometimes in my head, I don't see the difference. But now you said it to me, I'm gonna go back and watch my like things and go, is that two D or three D? Is that two D or three D? Yeah, it's it's so well done. The way they did it is like, it was Amazing. insane how many frames they have. Because I think in that movie they had to have twenty four drawings per second to match the frame rate of the live characters. So that's 24 drawings per second that had to be hand painted. I think in that time it was a mix of hand drawn and, and painted digitally. So someone had to, someone or a lot of people had to draw and paint a lot mm -hmm. of frames per second. And that's like, an, I don't know how long the movie is, but. It's so, amazing, isn't it? So my final question is, what is your, apart from Sleepy the Magical Bear, of course, what is your favorite animation or your favorite anime of all time that you love? My all time favorite? Yeah, it's it's very tricky, but the one I keep going to are two ones. Uh, one is Ghost in the Shell, the 1995 movie, uh, the classical movie made, not the live action or not the, the standalone complex, which is the series that came out of it. So. I would say okay. Ghost in the Shell, 1995, and House Moving Castle from Miyazaki, uh, still the Ghibli movie. I uh, love that. Studio. That is, is that it's, 2D? Is that 2D? Yeah. Oh, uh, I think the castle, I, I'm not sure actually, the castle might be a mix of two, but I think it's 2D. I think everything is 2D. Right, okay. Wow, I love that. And actually, I, have, I guess in the, the good thing about COVID in a way is that you've learned that you can be anywhere, you can get work from anywhere across the world and you can do it from your home. I yeah, that's yeah. Probably the most, just, that's just need to be very good. And but I'm sure you are. <laughs> I, I, I try to, be, but everyone wants experience and uh, since this process has not come out, there's nothing to put on my resume. Hopefully I can put... Uh, Sleepy on my resume. Thank you. Thanks so much for no being worries. here today. I'm going to stop. Thank you.